morning guys not done one of these for a few days so back with some workouts for you first one is a upper body workout uh, three rounds three ten minute rounds I shall just spin you around and show you what's involved round a we got a single leg single arm bent over row we're going with 10 to 15 reps we've got a half range half kneeling one dumbbell military press we're going 10 to 15 reps we've got some drag curls we're gonna go 10 to 15 reps on that as well. Round two, we've got pull-up variations. We've got a floor body weight tricep extension. We've got some body weight elbow lifts, which I'll show you shortly. And then we've got a kettlebell round. We've got a kettlebell push press. We're going 25 reps each side. We go kettlebell clean. We're going 25 reps each side. And then just for some good measures, we're gonna put in some cardio, a little bit of conditioning. We're going chest to floor, 50 reps. Three 10 minute rounds. Okay, let's cover the, uh, the test. So we've got first round, dumbbells. Just pop you down over here. Aye. So we got single leg, single arm, bent over the row. So you're gonna need a single dumbbell for that. So traditionally we'd be in this position, two legs, two arms, bent over the row. Uh, leaves a lot of a lot of scope for cheating the position. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one leg off the floor, single leg, single arm, bent over the row, and then perform your bent over the row there. It just keeps you more true to the rowing position. You do your 10 reps, swap arms, swap legs. 10 reps, so that's that. You've got your half range, half kneeling, single arm overhead dumbbell press. So you're doing half range, that means from the bottom position to about the height of your head. You wanna keep your elbow in, so try and avoid the elbow going out. Here. It's more of a tricep exercise than a shoulder exercise because you wanna do in that bottom portion. Swap arms, swap legs. So opposite arm and leg. You're gonna to wanna to go quite heavy on that one. 10 to 15 reps. Then the drag curls. Dumbbell, so traditional curls are going to be something like this. In the drag curls, you're going to get the dot same position. I kind of hold the dumbbells in like a V shape. And then instead of curling up, drag your elbows back. So it's almost like a row. So the elbows come back. Try and close this space here. So here's the start position. Pull back. Pull back. I should drag curls. Next round. Uh, pull up variations, floor tricep extensions, elbow lifts. Let me just trick you down here. So obviously, pull up variations. You've got the option of pull ups. Body weight, unassisted. Um, you've got the choice of using bands to help you with those movements if you struggle unassisted. If you can't do anything hanging from a bar, then you're gonna set up some um, Olympic rings or a TRX and then attempt these. So you need to be sat on the floor. You bring your knees right into your chest. Rings wanna be set up so that they're just out of reach at the end, end of your reach. And then keeping your chest facing forwards, try and pull straight up. And then lower back to the floor. Try and use as little assistance from your legs as possible. See how that's different to this movement? Which is what we've done, we do for like a body row, kind of, um, like almost a bed row position. This is pulling from overhead. Do your reps there. Okay, a bit and then the next exercise is your floor tricep extension. So this is a lot harder than it looks. So the, the full range version is going to be here. Take your elbows to the floor. Both elbows hit the floor at the same time. 
and then press away. Both elbows leave the floor at the same time. Now if that's too much, you can perform from your knees. If that's too much, you can just do the negative portion either here or here and then get up however you want. So do the negative and then get up however you want. So the full range from your feet and your hands, full range from your knees or your hands, or just do the slow negative portion and then get up however. And you'll still get some work done on the negative part of the movement. And then the third exercise, elbow lifts. A bit like band pull aparts. So it's, it looks a little bit awkward, but if you do it right, you feel it. So you sit up on the floor, bring your heels into your butt, elbows on the floor, head and shoulders back. And then you're just gonna push hard into the elbows and try to squeeze the shoulder blades together and then lower yourself back down. So push, squeeze the shoulder blades together on the back and then down to the floor. And you can see how that movement is very similar to this kind of band pull apart action that we'd normally do. Um, so if you just want to do something different, if we don't have access to a band perhaps in the gym or at home, um, do them. So that's the second round. Uh, and then the kettlebell round, quite simple, just squeeze your back over here. Two kettlebell movements, and then a bit of chest to floor action for some conditioning. So we're going push press. I'll just show you with an eight. So push press from this rack position. Use your legs to help push. heavy as you can manage. You're going 20 rep, 25 reps each side. They don't all have to be done consecutively. So you can go five, five, or one, one, three, three, whatever, till you've done 25 and 25. Then you're gonna go kettlebell cleans. So they come off the swing, single arm swing. And then you're finishing in that rack position you were just pressing the kettlebell from. Again, 25 each side, go heavy. Don't have to do them all consecutively. You can break them up into smaller sets. After that, you're going chest to floor. Quite straightforward. Standing, chest hits the floor, back to standing. 50 reps. And there you have it. A pretty solid session. I'll just show you again on the board, just to recap. If you want to pause the uh, playback. So you've got single leg, single arm, 10 to 15 each side. Half range, half kneeling, one dumbbell, overhead military press, 10 to 15 each side. Drag curls, didn't write the reps down, but do 10 to 15, both arms at the same time. Pull up variation, whether it's up on a bar or on some rings sat on the floor, five to 10, whatever you find hard. Floor tricep extension, give you a few options. Whatever's hard for you, five to 10 reps. Elbow lifts on the floor, accessible for everyone, that 10 to 20 reps. Kettlebell push press, 25 each side, break it up however you want. Do all those first before you move to the kettlebell cleans. 25 each side, do all those before you move to the chest to floor. 50 reps. And these two, just keep going for 10 minutes. Have a little breather in between rounds. This one, 10 minutes to get as far through that as you can. Go heavy, I don't want you finishing after three minutes. Okay, go as heavy as you can physically manage to push press overhead. And that is your upper body workout for today. I will be back with a legs workout shortly. Bye.